The teaching tonight, number one, is for anyone who hungers after God genuinely. Beyond the, 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 the drama of religion, beyond the drama of church, tonight's teaching is for people who desire God sincerely. Welcome to Dynamics of YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a thoughtful podcast revision by Apostle Joshua Soma. Imagine being at the epic center of God's prophetic program for the nation, moving past mere religiosity to truly encounter the spirit. Are you one of the extras, the Gideon in hiding, or the Deborah rising to answer the call? Tonight's teaching isn't just for a casual believer. It's for those who hunger deeply for God, those with mantles crying for expression, those ready to be sick with the spirit current move. As the days of Noah approach, will you be among the discerning, preparing for what is to come, or will you be found idle? In this critical time, as God seeks men and women to fulfill his end time program, can he count on you? Are you ready to go beyond the gates of religion into a real encounter with him? Make sure you watch this video from beginning to end and make sure you also share and comment. Thank you so much. Who is this teaching for tonight? No, 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 I will tell you, you don't have to raise your hand. The teaching tonight, number one, is for anyone who hungers after God genuinely. Beyond the, 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 the drama of religion, beyond the drama of church, tonight's teaching is for people who desire God sincerely. Number two, tonight's teaching is giving life and meaning to the various encounters and visions that some of you have been having and yet you have not had definition around it. Tonight's teaching is for the Esthers, is for the Deborahs. Listen carefully. Tonight's teaching is for the, the Gideons that are still in hiding, yet they have the destiny of warriors that will conquer the Midianites. Tonight's teaching is not for a lazy and careless Christian as usual. Tonight's teaching is not just for a give me, give me Christian. Lord, give me tea, give me bread. There is a place for that. Tonight's teaching is for someone who loves God enough to be at the epicenter of his prophetic program for the nations. Tonight's teaching is for a pastor, a man of God, an apostle, a prophet who wants to be in sync with the program of the spirit for the nations to know this present truth what god is doing now not what he did yesterday tonight's teaching is for someone who has veered off the path of the spirit and you are saying i need to get my life back again lord i know that you have a prophetic destiny for me and for whatever reason i seem to have veered off but right now i am ready to be at the cutting edge of my prophetic destiny i tell you in advance so that you will know whether this teaching is for you or not tonight's teaching is for someone who has cried and prayed for more of his presence more of his glory that lord i desire that you mantle me with heavier and weightier dimensions of your power Please help those under the anointing. Tonight's teaching, hear me please, is for people who from the bowels of their spirit, there are mantles that are crying for expression, waiting for a generation to hear. Those who are tired of sitting idle and being passive. Tonight's teaching is for people who are really looking for God not just for church not just for men of god not just for religiosity tonight's teaching is for people who are hungry saying lord there has to be more there has to be more tonight's teaching is for saviors those who know there is a mantle upon their life to deliver their families to deliver their generation to bring to pass the prophetic word that he has put upon their lives Tonight's teaching is for those who are in pursuit for authentic stature in the spirit. Tonight's teaching is for those who desire to be friends with God. Not just men of God. Not just women of God. Tonight's teaching is, 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 is more than a training for a, a pastor, an apostle, a prophet. We are moving past that realm tonight.
people who become the friend of God like Abraham like David finally tonight's teaching is for men and women who understand that God depends on men for his prophetic end time program to come to pass that God needs men and they are saying Lord as you go around the north the south the east and the west do not pass me I am ready and I am available my grandfather was careless he did not give you allowance into my family my parents maybe were careless but here is a chance to find a place in my family let me tell you the truth up front the days that are coming are like the days of noah jesus said the coming of the son of man will be like the days of noah in the days of noah there were two groups of people those who were spiritual and discerning who were busy about building the ark and preparing for the rain that was coming and those who were eating and drinking and mocking the zeal and the passion and the fire of those who were preparing it says when you see the signs of the days of noah know that the son of man is coming a sharp divide between genuine authentic spirituality And anything else that comes in between in one minute I like you to pray just pray in the spirit for one minute and then I begin to charge our hearts this is koinonia sabrandeke paska latapaka tafreske de beledisia shania zabraske de la sabragedia paradosiata It's a realm of your glory, it's a realm of your grace. I can see a mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, you are holy. You're not wasting your time tonight. Ta-da-da. 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 That as you seek men, oh God, we are available in truth. We are available in deed. Moving past the gates of religion. Moving past the gates of religiosity. Into a real encounter with the spirit. Hey, 
Shalada bakata braska debeleke to shabrandege. Kalish kada braska beneke paratos kadi ada baladosh. Shabrandege beleke ta pas kadi ada balados ya taba. Shade brenge debeleke pa. Please just press for one minute. I just felt stirred in my heart as I raised this song. That the Lord would have us press in the spirit. There is a making that is happening in our lives tonight. Nina Kawo we abo Sarkin Salama Nina Kawo go dia Sarkin Salama Don't be tired. Dear apostle, this is a prize for power and grace with God. We will raise your banner up. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. Yes, Lord. Let the maker make. Shale shamas kadiata. Let the refiner refine. Let the builder build. Let the maker make. Let the refiner refine. Let the builder build. Let the maker make. Let the refiner refine. In Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray please sit down just help those under the anointing there will be many impartations as I teach you notice what God has been doing these weeks be sensitive to what God is doing church when i came to church i saw the sick heal when i came to church i saw lives change i want to transport that reality to my home to see your power as i have seen in the sanctuary there are things i saw in the sanctuary i saw the oppressed come and go back free i saw in the sanctuary that there was bread given to men. I saw in the sanctuary that the exegesis of the word brought liberty. But Lord, I should not leave church and go back to darkness.
therefore my home must change my home must change my job must change my job must change my life must change my life Listen. must change my child must change my child must change my wife must change my wife must change we will never be Say we've touched your grace, our life was changed. Listen, spiritual hunger is proof of health. When you are sick, the first thing you lose is appetite. Listen very carefully, you know a sick person. Because there is a loss in appetite. So when you find out that your appetite for spiritual things begin to go down. Your passion for the house of God. Your passion for the word of God. Your passion for prayer. Your values. Your spiritual values. The values upon which your character is built upon. Is a sign of an attack. Is a call for a retreat. Is a, is a necessity for his presence. There are many people just doing church, preaching, singing, but the truth is that many people are not interested in God. Many people do not have the fire, the hunger. Spiritual hunger is not for men of God is a requirement for survival in today's world you must be obsessed about something there is a depth of hunger that i trust god to be planted in your heart today listen that you will go back home and for some of you for the first time in six months you can wake up in the night and pray and say no devil will stop me again I didn't even know when I stopped the prayer I used to be serious but because I'm looking for a job a husband a wife my life must change, my life must change. your priorities you know you have met him when there is an alteration your pastor said something Bishop when he came up he said God began to change let me tell you if you have the same relationship for a very long time is proof you are not growing as you transit in your values there should be a need to begin to readjust because of the light you are seeing you say no i love this person but your lifestyle does not look like the current dealings of god and even though i love you i'm about to climb the mountain servants you can wait abraham told the people they started together but when they got to the top of the mountain he said you will only allow me to rise alone my life must change my life must change that's what it means to know him my friends must change my friends must change that's what it means to know him my speech must change my speech must change if a man err not in words that man is a perfect man the capacity to speak like one who has been cultured by the word of God so that when men say there is a casting down you have been so cultured to speak and say that there is a lifting up my thoughts must change my thoughts must change let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus there is an understanding that must be formed in you so that you see life not from a cultural standpoint not from a sociological standpoint you have brought on you have been brought under the influence of the cross and the Christ and you see things from that standpoint my sight must change my sight must change the eyes the light of the body the bible says 
that if your eye be single then your body is full of light it is possible that you can allow your eyes lead you to things and places that can corrupt your Christian testimony this is what it means to be a Christian it is not just to open your Bible and close it no my work must change my work must change blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful the bible says but his delight is in the law of the lord and he says on that law he meditates day and night as a result he will be in the similitude of a tree that is planted not waiting for any season planted by the streams of water it yields its fruit in season and the bible says that his leaf does not wither it is not only your heart that changes your heart starts the journey but your entire person must change my message is this song this morning that you must desire to see his power and his glory as you have seen in the church let it not be a ceremony apostle joshua selman came that's not the idea the idea is i came to church and you go back and someone says sorry what happened to you you say church happened this is what happens when we come to church we don't just jump around and share the grace and go back Church is not a nuisance to society. It's a place of real encounter. You carry the spirit that programs failure around your life. And people continue to predict your doom. And they are right. Except that you came to church. And here in church, the spirit of God sets you free. You return back home. By evening, your destiny helper has called you. And they say, what happened? You say, I came to church. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I 